it's about that time. Once again, our strength's gonna tear up the field. He's gonna turn a nothing team into heroes just for one day. Cause I got a need, a need for speed. Got a heavy foot, don't know how to break properly. I like slingshotting, charging down the inside, and taking people on the outside. Race three. In F1, you make your own stories. Aw, oh, yeah. If you got a thing for the Asian ladies, then... Woohoo! <laughs> I don't have an Asian fetish. Well, I kind of do. See, see, I used to like Japanese, and then I went to Korea, and wow, <laughs> wow, not too much in the banks, though. In Chinese, I try I like uh, Zhejiang and Li Gong. Japanese. I think I think her name was Rika Hashimoto. She was a model. Kind of fancied her for a bit. And in Korea, there's uh, there's too many to name. There's Lee Hyori. There's Yuna. Bora. Thing about I think for this girl from after school. The main group. We're running NCL. some performance tests this session. Try and beat the target time. Hey. Alright, I'll try and beat it. <laughs> Let me get set up first. What's up with a bomb ass ride? <laughs> the Red Bull. Toro Rosso. Set up by. I was say set up by Hamilton. Set up by Alonzo. Disgraced and threat of millions. Now I'm racing for revenge. Okay, that's an interesting setup. Let's see, the first three gears are going to be real low, then the second three gears are going to be kind of higher. Kind of helps out with these um, deceleration. Okay, so the first three gears are for acceleration. Second three gears are still for acceleration, but more for a little bit more towards deceleration. I start to slow down. And last gear is just, just go balls out. And if you're wondering, I did watch the Australian Grand Prix. Had to find it online because I don't have access to UK networks. <laughs> or some weird Division. Okay, guys, NBC. let's get these changes made. Okay. Standing yeah. by. Okay, it's an exciting race. The first 30 laps were holy crap, just. You got people being disqualified, you got people quitting, you got Kobayashi crashing into Masa in the first lap, <laughs> in the first corner. Kind of Code Master style. It's like, you know, on the first corner. There's gonna be a lot of shit in the first lap. <laughs> the monster's like, yeah, I want the, uh, it's like I want the officials to look at the tapes, and I want them to penalize Kobayashi. I'm like, uh, mm, yeah. New car designs, some of them look kind of good. Others, kind of with the penis nose, I really don't like. <laughs> it's like. I was like, why would you do that to your car? <laughs> so 
So I just snipped the ass of a Marusha. Is that a Marusha? The screen's so freaking small. Slingshot. I like Hamilton and Vettel. Hamilton's like, you know what? I'm gonna bring this car in. It's like, dude, you're only five laps into the race. He's <laughs> like, so I have five cylinders going instead of six. I'm like, dude, I can make that work. Sebastian's just moved up to pole, pole position. Then Vettel, he's like, eh, the car's not getting all the power. I'm like, oh, dude, just work with it. Your teammate's working with it. This <laughs> is Vettel, just work with yours. So all that new tech and they don't know how to handle it. <laughs> then uh, there was a thing about Ricardo getting disqualified after winning the race because of excessive fuel. <laughs> I was kind of surprised with all the changes. It's like usually that, like, uh, I don't know, Alonso I don't think Alonso's still a Ferrari. No, Massa went to Williams. I don't know why Alonso. I think he's still a Ferrari. It's like usually I like seeing like Alonso and Massa and Ferrari, so I'm used to seeing Hamilton and Button and McLaren, and now like, Hamilton's with Mercedes, and it's like, oh, God. <laughs> You're showing good pace. Keep it up. Yeah, but I think this season is going to be kind of like a rookie season. The season of the rookie. Just, just calm your tits, man. So just let me drive. Just let me drive the car. finish first. <laughs> uh. Lap times are dropping. Looks like track conditions are starting to improve. And you think I care doing a practice set? Oh my god, dude, I am a world champion. I won the 2010 season. I know what the fuck I am doing in these tracks. Except Monaco, but we'll get to that later. <laughs> Monaco is it's just, it's just that's just a different, different story. Gotta check my setups. Make sure you people aren't screwing my car. So I wonder how involved the real F1 drivers are with their engineers. It's so like, do they get down and dirty? Like, are they in the garage with the uh, engineers? Like, kind of like grinding nuts and bolts. I'm like, yeah, like, this can make the car faster. Or this can make the car have more downforce. Or if we put this here and put that there, we can do this with the car, that with the car can turn in a little bit more or I don't like under scary. Quite over scary. 
Like with me, I'm a, I'm a tweaker, so it's like I kind of tweak my car to have like a tuner style setup, for which I'm good in corners, but kind of crap on straights. For it to overcompensate, I use acceleration, I love acceleration, and drafting techniques. So like it's good for flat tracks, but if you, any tracks that go uphill, a lot, sort of like a uh, I don't know, let's try to go up to a lot. Kind of like Spa. Yeah, it comes from the summer. It's a straight line and downhill car. You know, it was in 2010, I kind of pumped the accelerator. I was going into uh, tough corners, but here I'm like, you know, kind of, you know, passive about it. Like, I'm playing off the accelerator, letting the car shift its weight, and letting it, you know, turn, turn itself rather than, you know, trying to force it. So I think I'm improving. And the car's tapping out. Oh, and spin, and crash. Spin and a crash. We can save it. <laughs> You know what I was going to say. The fuck? <laughs> so, why did it eat your uh, fuck it? Wait, your lap time is invalidated this lap. Another thing I was kind of surprised about was the actual length of the race. It's like being 57 laps, I thought, you know, they're showing this to be like, what, two, two and a half hours long? I can try to be like an hour? Like, whoa, 60 minutes? That's it? <laughs> it's like, shit. Like, some NASCAR races I've watched are kind of like three hours long, you just drag it out. But I've wanted to, like, do to get to the point, like, here we go. Here it is. Put like awesomeness in one hour. Kind of like sex. Qualifying first, race is second. Because if you have a really good car in qualifying, that means you will have a good car in the race. But that's not necessarily the truth. Well, one, that's not necessarily the truth, though. Because, like in real life, Hamilton, even though he got pole position, he ended up dropping out of the race.
unfortunately, you're on first drive with a new team and you drop out of a race because of a broken cylinder in your car. I mean, how is it to get a cylinder working in oh. Let me shut up because it might be really technical. But then again, you do have like a bunch of engineers in the track, so it's like, how hard can it be to fix a cylinder in a car? <laughs> So just to get it working. And I guess I had enough. At a point, I just say fuck it. <laughs> Ooh, I got pulled. Lot of cars out on track. We might need to wait for a gap. That's what he said. <laughs> Yeah, let's extend that. It's like if I raced against Vintage Beef and Kurt G. Mac, could I beat them in a one lap sprint, in a one lap race? Okay, guys, let's get these changes made. Uh, I think with my setup, I could. <laughs> person on the track. Pole position. Five minutes left for this session. See, I was in the top 10 percentile of the world's fastest drivers in 2010, so... I don't know, I guess I could. Then again, I play on PC and I play on PS3, so... Pole, pole position, fantastic drive, well done. Excellent, excellent. Everything's going according to plan. So everybody knows my name now. They do not fear the Reaper, but they embrace him. And everybody else is in the shadows. It's like the one thing I do miss in this game though that, you know, 2010 had were the post-race conferences in which, uh, you get interviewed in like this like office environment and you're like answering questions and you got like the two other drivers like the um, P2 and P3 driver beside you and they're like yeah <laughs> so yeah I know I'm the bomb and these other guys they suck ass royally <laughs> yeah doing the post race interviews at the actual race trailers it's kind of I don't, I don't know I want to say it's kind of lackluster because it's like yeah before you like you had like a big audience to like speak in front of now it's just like three interviewers and like yeah let's talk about the race or your future plans I don't like that <laughs> Also, they got rid of the uh, fuel mixing in the game because in 2010 you can actually put your engine output to. Well, I think it's not fuel mixing, but it's engine output. In 2010 you can change it from high, middle, and low. I forget. I like the way it did, but it's like, I think it's actually called high, middle, and low. And it's like for like, you know, increased power just setting our high and. All set. Uh, just little things like that. Cars and dars. So dramatic. Women, you suck. We had a fantastic result in the last race. Let's try and get another podium here. So fucking demanding. This guy. I 
seen. Kind of a weak launch, but we're going to go for it. And into the first corner we go. And nice. Change the rain tires. <laughs> it's like, yeah, just, just cause, you know. It's a fast point that turns slow. Telling me since I'm in the, since I'm in the lead. <laughs> oh, it's tough at the top. What? Bullshit. What happened? that I take aggressive lines? I'm just born that way. A series of corners. And the dreaded arrow. Look at my ass. 
is Rosberg. Alright. And Kobayashi. Oh. Put Kobayashi in third. It's gotta be a mistake. I'm just, I'm just talking about that. The Rothberg is really on my ass, man. <laughs> say dude we're ahead of everybody else <laughs> it's just us Two cars travel faster than one. Let's prove that theory. Alright, Nico, you push me, I'll push you. Here is battle between the first and second. If I slip up once, he's got me. I don't care about Hamilton. I got a German on my ass. Then again, being German American, it's. Uh, you know, it's a fair fight. He's gone. <laughs> oh, let's see what happened. I gotta think. Are you gonna penalize me for that shit? <laughs> I was holding my line, and he he just bit the dust. And no, no penalty. Okay. But yeah, it wasn't his fault. He was holding his line, so Nico was too aggressive. And he, he paid for it. <laughs> Don't get aggressive with me. Because your ass will end up in the grass. <laughs> and like Nico, you will go into a wall. Or just scout the road at like over 100 miles an hour. Yeah, but he's pissed. Trailing by half a minute. 
the one car. I'm free, free for it. That's not, that's not too bad karaoke. Uh, but I should last year. So I'm watching a guy strangle a girl. He's half naked. And he's in his uh, skibbies. Yep. I'm watching that kind of program. So it's going to be like that scene in 7 where that dude holds a gun to that other guy's head and he's like, I want you to do this girl and if you don't do her and come inside of her, I'm going to blow your brains out. <laughs> That was extremely dark, like I said. <laughs> the movies I watch may find some people. Stop repping it so hard in those turns, man. Oh, but I did kind of miss that sound. It's like the new car is so quiet. What, no corner cut? Stewart's be hating, man. Stewart's be hating on me, man. Can't handle my swagger. thing about this car is that it sort of does kind of, it, it doesn't sort of kind of, it does degrade over the course of a race. But it starts out, it starts out good, it runs good, but as the race goes on, its performance level goes down. But then when I get into tires, it's like the performance, uh, performance level goes back up, then it goes back down again.
Like, where is everybody? Okay, I see one blip. And that's it. <laughs> so I see about one blip and that's it. First place is so lonely. Blackpeoplemeet.com. Oh yeah, a commercial inside a supermarket. Everything's in the green. Wait, am I just that good or is the game just that just too easy? I'm raising an intermediate custom settings. So I don't know. And again my lines are good, so doing everything right. Oh, that, that just hurts my ears if I hear that. About half a minute, so yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Like, seriously. I'm watching this show on a CW. I don't know what it's called. It Maybe Tomorrow People or something. It's a show that's kind of like Looper. No. Brilliant, brilliant. That's the double. Pole and the win. All right, let's get to the interviews. You're still second in the driver's championship. Dun, 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 dun. All right. And third in constructors points. But without a good wingman, you're never going to get first.
terminal crashes zero. Punctures zero. Nine point zero seven G's. Wow. <laughs> A really great victory today and maximum points towards your championship challenge. If this continues, will you allow yourself to start thinking about the title? Sure, why not? It's a possibility. With an obvious horsepower deficit to some of those front runners, does a wet race help level the playing field for you? I don't really like racing all sorts of weather. Except snow. Fuck snow. There's no refueling during the race this season, so how much of a difference has that heavier load made to the way the car handles? No uh, refueling. Oh, there's just a tire change rule. Okay. Andy and Sabine. All right, I guess that's going to be it. <laughs>